What is going on everyone? Got a special little video today for you. We got the 7x14 utility trailer. I'm gonna tell you why I believe this is the best way to go here in just a second. So I personally built this trailer back in 2018, specifically for lawn care. Worked at a pipe bending shop. Was able to buy all my pipe tubing at cost. And uh, this trailer has like 20,000 miles on it, no joke. Um, it's a single axle, which I really like. Single axle, a lot less to maintain here. You gotta, you gotta remember if you were a tandem, you'd have one other, you know, set of wheels, hubs, spindles. You know, these things aren't cheap, so a lot less maintenance. You can fit two machines on here. That's the big kicker. So you might be just starting out and man, you're like, holy cow, I got a ton of extra room on my trailer, but do you wanna grow? Like, if you wanna grow in lawn care, you need the extra room. Like when I started out, I didn't have a dump trailer either. So I built sides that would, you know, screw on here. And I would just go around and do fall cleanups and stick the leaves like up in this box that I had built here. So my point, that I'm trying to make is if you ever want to grow, go with a little bit larger of a trailer. Um, if you think you're going to be hauling like other heavier machines on this trailer, obviously buy a tandem axle, but for just your everyday mowing, seven by 14 single axle, totally the way to go. I did not build these racks. However, they are amazing. These green touch, they work awesome and uh looks like oh this one's about ready to fall off here but kind of adjusts it the trimmer kind of adjusted itself but um if you do want to see more about the stuff that's on this trailer um definitely go and check out my video on like my lawn care setup video you'll like that a lot better but we did add the sure can recently and it has been a, a extreme gas saver i spill a lot less with it so they're definitely worth the money in case you're interested, but yeah, this trailer has been awesome to me. So just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Uh, we do have the spray master with us today. We're going to go out and do a little bit of spraying. It's finally cooled off, which is awesome. A little bit. It's been like mid to upper nineties here and just ungodly humid. So yeah, pretty bad, but anyways, Thank you guys so much for uh, watching my video. I greatly appreciate it, you know, and um, you guys might have different opinions on, on what would work best, but uh, that's just some insight as to why I chose to go with the uh, 7x14. You can go out to a dealer and buy them. I built this one, but go out and get yourself one. I mean, they're, they're the way to go. A half ton truck will pull 7x14 perfectly fine. And... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. We're going to get off to uh, cutting some lawns, which, I mean, this is an irrigated yard in my area. They're just absolutely fried. It has just been so hot, so hot, and uh, very frustrating. So we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.